Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 11. Okay, in the previous episode we met a few new characters. Um, uh, Emporio, we already knew who Emporio is. We kind of get a little like an official introduction kind of. We get to know what his stand actually does, all that stuff. And we meet uh, a few new characters. Uh, number one is Weather Report. And there was another guy who was there we who we still not not know who he actually is so we'll probably get introduced to him later on but for now weather report is currently in our team and <clears throat> weather report has the power of controlling weather I mean, I'm, I mean his stand has a con uh, power of controlling weather and uh, yeah and also one of the enemies we met uh, I don't I think they mentioned the name but I forgot the the guy's name but his stance name is jumping jack and he can manipulate gravity can make something zero gravity and you know like that's how he does stuff and he uses like you know that zero gravity to uh spin the things that is in his hand uh with centrifugal force and launch stuff towards the enemies so that's how he does stuff which was a probably a one of the biggest not threat but problems for jolene because she was like floating in midair couldn't do anything much and even her strings were having problems to you know like because it was zero gravity you, she he could not she could not use his her strings that easily uh so you know like using that situation he grabbed jotaro's stand it's with him now and he's trying to run away with it and we are currently following him jolene and weather report are following him and uh, yeah let's see what happens here so whether we can catch him. i'm surely i'm sure we're going to catch him hopefully because if we don't um jotaro's stand will forever be gone and then you know he'll like he he won't get his stand back and his he have to he we will have to keep him in the uh, you know preservation the thing that speed wagon foundation is doing we have to keep doing that unless and until we get the stand so i'm sure we'll get it and uh yeah uh grab the stand from him and bring it to the courtyard where the speed wagon fan foundation will be there so yeah let's see what this episode brings so this is the uh penultimate episode yeah episode 12 is the last one at least for this season so let's see how this goes so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 11 of jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started right so here's the countdown three two one go Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> they named the... Oh, Jumping Jack Flash or Spark. Okay. I'm guessing we'll we're going to resolve this situation within this and the next episode because obviously like we're, we're barely getting started i think i'm not sure how long uh you know part six is if it is as long as the previous you know parts so we'll probably have like 40 something episodes like that because yeah like even part four had 40 episodes part five had 40 episodes only part three was quite big it was spanned across two seasons containing how many episodes it was also kind of similar to not 40 but it was probably 45 or 46 episodes something like that yeah so yeah more or less all the parts are kind of the same length one is a little bit bigger other is a little bit smaller so i'm also guessing part six will be something like 40 episodes or something like that 
or maybe it's smaller i don't know <clears throat> if it is 40 episodes so we'll probably have two or three more seasons two more seasons something like that after this we'll see all right operation savage garden head to the courtyard part two okay Where who? Oh, is this? Wait, is this Pucci? Yeah. Wait, he's supposed to be a father. Why is he in here? Twenty years. Unless and until that person has a stand. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Hmm. Clock. Oh, he, he's checking the time. Oh no. Feedback Foundation is going to. Oh no, he noticed it now. Oh boy, he knows everything. Why are they not questioning him? He's supposed to be a father. Is he like in someone in like a higher position or something? Where have I heard his voice? I'll have to check it out. Wait, wait, is she like, oh no. Oh no, she's, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, that's awkward. Did you drink a lot of water? Okay, I... <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, it's even in zero gravity situation. Oh no, no, stop! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no! Wait! Oh! Oh, interesting! Yeah! Okay, that's why. That's why. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> this is very awkward. My God. <laughs> uh. Oh, the blood is also getting sucked up. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Oh no. What is that? Is that like a... Oh my god.
attach the walls leading to the door. Oh. Oh, that's why it's going out. Oh no. What? Yeah. Blood boils like water. Okay. 20 seconds. Oh my god, this guy's still attacking us from somewhere. Oh, that's how he... What? Wait, what's... Oh, is this providing moisture or something? I think so. Yeah, providing... Providing air and moisture most probably inside. Oh, is this like a air bubble or something? There you go. Wow, that's very interesting. It's like a space suit. Yeah. Hmm. Just like in, you know, space. Wow. It's just like how, like, you know, astronauts put on, uh, interesting. Two minutes. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. True. Maybe it since he's the stand user, it, it oh that's a range. Okay, so he's okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Weather report. Oh no, it's starting the pressure. Oh. 
Oh no, some of it, okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh, nice. There you go. It's like a... Oh no. What? What? Yeah, what's in the barrel? Oh no, it's going to- oh boy! Okay. God damn it, it pushed him back, yeah. But can't he use his Okay. Oh, okay. Pushed. She pushed herself towards him. Yeah. Yeah, maybe she'll kick him or something. Do something at least. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. What? Ra Wait, what? Rats? Oh no! Um, oh no, wait, what happened? Damn, it's getting cocky. <laughs> well, um, I wonder what's going to happen now. So, how did she survive from that? Oh, he got okay. He, oh, wow. <laughs> she basically stringed everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> She stringed, she stringed everything. <laughs> and then caught it midair, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> well. Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay, there you go. Yep, excess air pressure. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait, what's that? Oh 
Oh my god, this guy's a... Oh, he, he's using... Is that what? What is that? Water? Hydrogen peroxide and magnesium? Oh, oxygen. Okay. Ah! Uh. Oh, he, he he destroyed the suit. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can just make another one. That. Oh no, he. Oh. No, 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 he. Wait, can't he? Oh no, he cannot make another one because it's vacuum. Oh god, I forgot about that. Okay, thank god. Oh, in comes the air. Uh, but before that, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, thank God weather report is okay, I think so. Alright, there you go. Oh boy. Corridor. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But what about the picture? Yeah. But she needs to do this for Jotaro. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. True. Oh my god, is this... Is this Pucci? It is Pucci. It is Pucci, okay. Uh, yes, yes, come on. Show, sh show us our face, or show Jolene your face. Lang rang la okay. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. He he still doesn't suspect anything. Yep. There you go. Okay, come on, Jolene. Well, at least he, he saw his face. 
Okay, at least he she saw his face. Like even even if she won't be able to put one and one together now, he'll she'll probably be able to like you know uh, join the dots as time goes on. Or who knows? Maybe in the next episode she'll be able to figure out that that's actually the one who is the abil stand ability user of White Snake. And uh, yeah, let's wait. Okay, so there, like you know, I, like there are a lot of scientific. What can I say? Mm, things in this episode. Uh, the whole thing with the. You know, like the high, uh, the oxygen thing that you know, like the hydrogen peroxide and like you know, manganese oxide. I think that's hydrogen is two O two plus uh, hydrogen peroxide and manganese or mag magnesium. No, manganese something. I think they said. Anyways, you know, uh, some chemical reactions and stuff were also involved in this. <laughs> so now, okay, I'm going to talk about everything one by one. But yeah, like this is going to continue in the next episode as well, which is the final episode of this season. And I'm guessing something will happen. Maybe Jolene will realize what, like, you know, that guy is Pucci or maybe not. But hopefully she is able to, okay, that's it. Hopefully she is able to um, take the disc to the Speedwagon Foundation in time. Okay, now first things first. Let me let me check um weather forecast is voice actor. I've uh no. weather forecast like I've heard that voice so much, but I can't can't really point my like you know like okay where is it. Okay, um, you, Yui, Yuichiro Umehara, is that the name? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I realize who, the, where I've heard his voice before. It's from Cautious Hero, the main guy, and Goblin Slayer as well, from Goblin Slayer. And is there anything else, like... Yeah, like I, I, I can, yeah, I, I, I can realize so. Yup. Th these are the two main that that I can kind of. Yeah, it's coming back. So Goblin Slayer, yeah, Goblin Slayer and uh, Cautious Hero. Yup. Okay. Yeah, I realize now. So that's where he is from. Okay. So, anyways, um, this episode, um, we are continuing from the previous one where we were fighting against um, Jumping Jack and okay in the beginning we get to see Pucci is like you know like in, in the in the control room or if that's what you call it uh, and like you know like he's like looking at everything like emergency alarm all that stuff now I don't wonder like 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 I know like he's like you know like he's he's the father but like I don't know like I feel like he has quite a lot of power you know like I don't think like this this is something that is like you know related to uh the security of the prison you know I don't think a father should be there or he should be asking questions to the security guards so I'm guessing he is probably someone who has quite a lot of power in his hands and something like that otherwise like you know, i was quite surprised when i saw him just directly asking the guards like what's happening give me the phone call records all that stuff because i don't think like that's a power that he's supposed to have you know because this is completely in the security department nothing that relates to him so yeah probably he's some kind of a big shot in this you know like in this whole in the prison hold in the whole thing so yeah, I'm sure we'll get our answers. But okay, um now he actually realizes from this episode uh and uh, in this episode that Jolene was con not Jolene, but Jolene contacted the Speedwagon Foundation. And he watched you know, he saw the time and everything and 
yeah while in that time uh <coughs> they were uh weather report jolene and um, jumping jack they were like you know and the the, the the fighting was going on <coughs> now here's here quite a few things like starts happening here one by one which are very scientific first of all the whole thing with uh the like you know being in zero gravity uh how no that's not zero, sorry um how like you know like julian touched those the walls and the, the the other things that's why uh what did she say just a second where is that portion like this part is very specific i need to Go back and read that part again. Okay, everything I touch becomes zero gravity. Um, I touch the walls reading to the door. Okay, um, that means the whole room in is okay. The whole room is unaffected by gravity. Okay, the air air cannot stay in zero gravity. Okay. All right, I understand now. Like at that, that time, I was reacting to it, so I wasn't able to pay a proper attention to what she was saying. Uh, now I understand. So basically, what's happened is since the whole room is now zero gravity, he, she even touched the walls and the you know, leading up to the door. You know, this whole room is unaffected by gravity now. And if like you know, like obviously gravity is something that also holds the air. Like if gravity was not in on Earth. The atmosphere that we have wouldn't be there and life wouldn't even have started on earth you know since the atmosphere is you know uh, pulled in by gravity that's how, why how, how we all of us living things are able to live because we have air in, in you know like and within air oxygen is also there so that's why since the room got unaffected by gravity while the outside part of the room still contains gravity what basically happened is it started like a like a little suction thing started you know a suction current or whatever you call it and um the air from the room started going to the other places where gravity is since gravity started attracting the air so basically what was happening is that at that moment the air was going out of that room through the little like you know the little um, gaps and holes uh so that's why since little like you know there, there were cuts in their like you know hands and like you know noses were bleeding the heads were bleeding whether reports head was bleeding uh since the air was getting sucked out the blood also started getting sucked out alongside with the air and <clears throat> you know like and obviously all, all the other stuff also go, were getting sucked out the liquid and everything was getting sucked out and that's what was happening okay uh okay and then like you know like then she says julian says that so if air goes out obviously there won't be air will suffocate to death but uh weather report says another interest which i was unaware of and you know like he says that the blood in our bodies will boil fast first leading to our death this was i was not like you know aware of this fact that something like that could happen if air gets sucked out like uh like you know like I, I i had no idea so this is something interesting okay um in vacuum blood boils up like water in a zero gravity vacuum people's blood will dry up in 20 seconds before even suffocating i'm sure there's like a scientific reason for that why in uh vacuum uh blood boils away maybe it's something related to pressure you know like atmospheric pressure or something because i like you know like i, I feel like uh i think like this there's, there's a there's a relation of pressure and uh the boiling point you know of uh liquids for example i think if pressure decreases uh it it quickly reaches the no it, it takes long to reach the boiling point so that's why I think like there's a thing where you go to like you know higher up mountains or something where atmospheric pressure is lesser. Um, the like you know food it takes a long time to boil because the boiling point gets I think increased. So so the amount of heat you give is still the same, but it doesn't reach the boiling point. That's why it takes a lot more time to uh, you know like cook food or something in higher mountains where air pressure is low that's why you know like you take pressure cookers or stuff like that which increases the pressure and that's how like you know the boil it can reach the boiling point 
So I'm guessing it is something related to that, you know, because he basically says that in vacuum, blood boils up like with like water very quickly. Within 20 seconds, everything will be gone. So maybe it's something like that, you know, because zero vacuum, like you know, vacuum and zero gravity means there will be no pressure at all. Maybe that's why, you know, like the blood will boil off or something. I don't know. I'm sure there is a proper scientific explanation to this. But I never knew this, you know, like this whole thing with blood. So, so he basically says like it will take a little bit of time for us to suffocate because, you know, we can keep holding our breath. You know, like there are obviously people who can hold a, like, you know, three or five minutes of their breath. Uh, normal people can usually keep two or three minutes, I think. That's even more, like one and a half minute or two minutes maximum. So it won't suffocate us. But before suffocating, we, we're basically going to, going to die in 20 seconds because the blood will boil off. So that's what, where the report was saying, which is interesting. I, I had no idea that something like this could happen. So yeah, I'm sure there's a proper scientific reason. All right, anyways, um, uh, what else? Okay, um, now, so here, Okay, then they start to actually to stop the uh, room from becoming vacuum. They try to like, you know, block the, the gaps. And that's when Jolene realizes that. <clears throat> no, not here. Just a sec. Okay, now here. So uh, now we see uh, what's his name? Jam Jumping Jack or I think I can't remember his name again. He did mention his name. But anyways. Uh, Jumping Jack starts shooting again and it's interesting to see how he actually shoots. He basically opens the, the thing, the little compartment which mm, rotates and like, just like reloading a gun, he puts in screws and stuff inside it and shoots like that, which is interesting. And he starts shooting again and obviously like, you know, like the, the, the whole place is going to become vacuum, the blood will boil off, that is happening. They're trying to fix the place, but they can't. And like, you know, whether uh, Jumping Jack is shooting from behind. So what to do in this situation? Um, here, such an inter like, you know, like weather report, he uses his, um, what do you call it? His power, his, the, the cloud formation to actually made two little space suits, kind of. And like, yeah like this is, this is quite cool because you know like it's kind of like uh like you know you're, you're like an astronaut or something like this is like in just like in space everything is vacuum you know zero gravity that type of a situation and you know you're like wearing a little suit which is like the um astronaut astronaut suit and uh space suit and yeah that's what he basically did but obviously like this is not a like you know thing like a real thing so only two minutes, they would be able to keep their uh, the air inside it. And he, and I'm guessing after this, he won't be able to make another one because at that moment, and you know, in the last scene, I was thinking like, he can just, just make another one, can't he? But then I realized that probably he can because the whole place is a vacuum. Like he needs something to make the, you know, suit. So obviously he cannot do it because there's nothing like no air here. She cannot, he cannot make another one. So I realized that in the end. So that's why, you know, in the end, he basically gave away his own suit to Jolie. I think that's why he did that because he could not make another one. But okay, now Jolie comes to a conclusion here. She realizes that why is the other, like, you know, the other things, the, the, the drums and stuff, why are they not floating away? I also touched them. And then she realizes that was basically because of the attack range. And she says that you go there, I'll defend you. Okay, now the first thing that he does here is he, he tries to shoot, you know, like Joel, not Jolene, but uh, weather report. But Jolene comes and stops it. And obviously Jolene, like, you know, like since he is like a close combat battle, Jolene can easily deflect the bullets, not bullets, sorry, the screws. So here's what he does. He destroys the, the, the drum, which has air in it that you know the air kind of acts like uh like you know in, in a vacuum situation that's the only air so that it kind of shoots out wax into um weather report and makes him go behind 
like you know back a little like the direction that he was going on it kind of offsets him so now here's where Jolene does something which we also see that it was not all that he did yet she we see like you know Jolene kind of uh, using her string to go towards weather report to push him back outside but that's not the only thing that she did at that moment which we get to see in the end he does she does he has, she also does something else over here which at that moment we did not know so anyways uh, i'm going to talk about that later on but Jolene uh, shoots not shoots but uh, pushes um weather report uh towards you know the the the, the, the other side and you know, a lot of things happens they were like fighting and everything they're like oh um he he uh jumping jack throws rats towards them <laughs> my god <laughs> and <coughs> then he shoots them and then we get to know what jolene actually did in the in that scene where he when she ties herself and goes towards weather report she not only does that but here's another great applicability of her stand she basically stringed all the uh, sc screws and everything <laughs> passing through the the the, the, the round thing uh, and so when he shoots since the screws all had Jolene's string within it she can basically stop them midair and it, it just it, it seemed as if it went and hit her but just before it touched her skin she stopped it completely using her string so nothing happened <laughs> and like since you know like since the strings are also attached to um the guy he she was able to pull him in but he, he still doesn't give up he uses uh okay here we also get a little backstory of him what he did why he was you know like uh arrested and he still does not give up he brings up a bottle okay uh a reaction between hydrogen peroxide and manganese dioxide there you go hydrogen peroxide h2o2 manganese dioxide mno2 um oxygen yeah mm, h2o2 yeah uh, hydrogen peroxide reduces manganese dioxide which makes manganese hydroxide i think and uh, oxygen so yeah so that's how oxygen is made there you go it produces oxygen just the oxygen okay just like the oxygen in this bottle it keeps coming out okay uh, i understand now what he actually did at that moment i wasn't able to realize what he did here so he basically threw it towards jolene and since you know like the oxygen started forming and it started expanding it broke the glass and it shot towards jolene you know uh, like some bullets or something the glass shards i think that's what she, she, he did here yeah he just shoots it towards her and the glass shards kind of you know like destroy the the cloud thing around her and he's like okay like i'm going to die like you know like uh no he says that i'm going to defeat you first yeah your blood vessels will rupture first since you're covered in wounds there you go that's what he was planning to do so okay but then weather report helps her out he transfers the his own uh suit weather suit towards uh jolene and yeah and that's how everything like you know like you know jolene was able to keep like you know like has not keep so i was able to stay alive at that moment okay he realizes and everything <laughs> at that moment he realizes that everything is gone like you know like his plan has failed completely so he thought that he would deactivate the gravity the air will come rushing in and he'll use that to get out of that situation but <laughs> he probably made a miscalculation here because as jolene said that it basically pushed him towards jolene <laughs> and he she was easily able to punch him okay here's what she says you should have deactivated it the first chance you had 
had the change in air pressure might have let you escape if only you had deactivated it while you still had a distance from stone ocean the air is blowing you back towards me yeah that's what happened so basically says if you had a little bit of a distance you could have easily manipulated that situation and using the air kind you could have gotten away but no you had to come in and throw the bottle towards me <laughs> reducing your distance and that's how like you know now like you know like the air pressure pushed you towards me and i just punched you so easily so that's basically what happens so he became a bit too greedier <laughs> that's how you know he lost in the end so i think i'm able to understand this like you know when i was reacting to since obviously like you know, there was a lot of things going on in my head and everything was happening so quickly there were a few things I wasn't able to properly understand, but I think now I can understand everything quite like, you know, normally, like things that I had a little confusion about throughout this whole episode. After reading this, those portions again, I can, I'm able to understand them now. And you know, what actually happened, how, like, you know, how the whole room became zero gravity, what happened to the, like, you know, manganese uh, dioxide and how, like, you know, the shards went out, all that stuff uh if my any of my interpretation is wrong correct me down in the comment section because i think that's what basically happened so yeah anyways so that was the full battle this this battle was a lot more difficult to kind of you know like keep up with because as i said like you know, there were quite a few not quite like this whole battle was full of scientific stuff and you know like chemical formulas <laughs> chemistry and all the other things oh my god so yeah, you, you have to like, you know, pause a little bit and actually read the lines properly and understand them. Uh, <laughs> it, it took a little bit of time for me to realize what was actually happening. But I think I am able to realize now what happened. And yeah, I understand this whole episode now quite nicely. Okay, that's how she defeats um, the guy and okay then like you know like she she takes the the card and everything jolene comes up with a plan she's like weather report you, you you know you go back because obviously you have wound you're wounded if anyone sees you they'll get more suspicious so you go back i'll handle this i really need to bring this disc back uh, to the speed wagon foundation and oh yeah that's his name lang wrangler okay lang wrangler i think okay so that was happening and then uh, in comes Pucci now Pucci really wasn't able to <clears throat> understand what was happening because he thought that it was Wrangler he comes in Joelin sees him and I'm sure he she'll probably be able to connect the dots from here because first of all Pucci called him by his name that in itself is one of the biggest uh, hints to, as to who this guy is because you know because Lang Wrangler was actually trying to take the disc back with him which shows that he is working for White Snake and this guy suddenly pops up and says that Lang Wrangler are you coming back or something like that he said which obviously if you think about it properly you know if you try to connect the dots it, it basically says that this guy is somehow connected to him which means that he's probably White Snake because you know the guy was trying to take back the disc to white snake so i'm sure julian will be able to connect the dots very easily in the next episode as to who this guy is and uh, you know like he she even saw him now he she has his she has seen his face but she this really took him by surprise he suddenly got in and he just looked around and he's like wait a minute where is rang lang wrangler who is this why is Jolene doing here? <laughs> That's when he realized that, yeah, he messed up. <laughs> and he also says that, let's go to the chapel. I'd like to speak with you. <laughs> so, yeah, Jolene will probably be able to connect the dots very easily. Yeah, Jolene says that he's neither a guard nor a prisoner. What could his attire mean? Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm sure the next episode, hopefully, Jolene will be able to realize this is White Snake's ability user. Uh, so 
yeah i do wonder what pucci is going to do now now this can go either way he can either completely like you know throw all pretense away and just attack her you know he can do either that or he might try to make up some lies and you know weasel his way out of this like some kind of like you know like she, she might try to trick jolene this can go in either two directions i'm thinking he'll probably try to weasel his way out of this because you know i don't think he's going to go full frontal like you know and attack her who knows let's see but it like you know this this situation is currently very advantageous to pucci because jolene is wounded weather report is um, completely wounded he won't be able to do anything so if he wants to attack her i think this is probably this will probably be the best chance to do that and you know like so who knows what he'll do but i don't like i don't think he's that type of a guy who'll just go full on violent mode i don't think so is like he's more like the manipulating type i think so he might try to like lie his way through this we'll see if he's if he actually does that and he's successful at it if he does it so next episode is the final episode of this season so yeah so now i'm going to uh, react to the next episode tomorrow and i'll end this season's reaction so yeah anyway so that's it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean so if you uh, episode number 11 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow with the final episode of uh, jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean uh this season so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day